Hello and welcome to New Start at Home. I'm your host Don McIntosh. We're glad you're with us today and we're also glad that Dr. Doug Plata is with us. Um, welcome doctor. Thank you. Your specialist is family practice and also preventive medicine. Mm -hmm. And you know, I want to just talk with you, maybe we'll do a couple programs, but what, what should we do in terms of first response when we find out about something? You know, the, the very first time you find out you have an issue with some physical thing, it's, it's sometimes a little daunting. People say, well, what do I do about that? I, is it serious? Is it, is it something I can let slide? And what I want to talk about today is uh, hypertension or high blood pressure. Right. Um, you know, what is it? Should we be concerned about it? What should we do if we find out that we're struggling with high blood pressure, the first thing? Right, right. People find out that they have high blood pressure in, in different settings, uh, but very commonly it's they're in a doctor's office for some other reason, and of course we do vitals, and one of those vitals is blood pressure, and people say, wow, it's running high. Uh, and it all depends, uh, I would say first and foremost, as to whether it's a little bit high. You know, as people get older, the blood pressure tends to go up, or whether it's really high, uh, mm -hmm. and, and they have you know hypertensive emergency, for example. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, just when they meet you, their blood pressure goes up because they have that white coat syndrome, right? Right, right. Is is that real? <laughs> it actually is. Yes. Yeah, white jacket hypertension. Uh, I see it uh, not infrequently. It's it's uh, fairly common, and uh, we we try to do a couple things. We go ahead and check it again after they sort of calm down a little bit. I've literally even tried to not wear a, j a jacket, but I think it's actually doctor hypertension, not just white right. jacket. <laughs> so, I mean, so that's kind of, you know, you do it two or three times, but then you find out, yes, I do have hypertension. So what's the next step? What should you do then? Yeah, but, but let me just emphasize that, and that is we don't really make a diagnosis. If we're measuring, you know, slightly elevated uh, blood pressure, we don't make a diagnosis of hypertension. We like to check it on two separate settings mm -hmm. because the fact of the matter is our blood pressure goes up and down throughout the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and so just because we get one spot reading is not a diagnosis mm -hmm. unless it's incredibly high. Okay, so let's say now we, we do know it's high blood pressure. Right, right. Um, you know, unfortunately, a lot of my colleagues uh, who, who are not, uh, you know, oriented to to, to lifestyle sort of approach to the practice of medicine, uh, oftentimes they will, I, I, I joke that you tap their tendon, they write out a prescription, you know, mm -hmm. and unfortunately a lot of patients are immediately put on a prescription for blood pressure. If it's mild or even uh, lower moderate uh, hypertension, really the first thing we, we ought to do is try to maximize lifestyle intervention because in most cases for mild hypertension, it can be controlled with lifestyle. So what are the, give me some quick things that they can do lifestyle-wise. There, there's a, a, a number of very uh, simple things. One is um, you can go ahead and uh, get exercise, especially mm -hmm. aerobic exercise, things like walk, 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 mm -hmm. um, or bicycling is what I enjoy doing. Um, so exercise by itself is, is really quite powerful. Uh, second thing is in terms of diet um, is uh, salt. Um, a certain percentage of uh, patients are actually very sensitive to salt, so if they can reduce their salt, uh, that, mm -hmm. would be, that would be recommended. Uh, especially no adding of salt and mm -hmm. you know, looking at the labels and, and seeing where it is. The third thing is uh, losing, losing some weight uh, mm -hmm. by itself can oftentimes do the trick. Uh, alcohol or, or caffeine or tobacco, those things can go ahead and raise, raise the uh, blood pressure as well. And so, you know, it, 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 once they've tried those things, and if those things are not working, that's when maybe they need to, to talk about some other things, because it is not something you just want to leave alone. No, it's uh, high blood pressure or hypertension is called the silent killer, and that is without symptoms, nonetheless, if, if you don't know about it because you don't have symptoms, that it can put you at a significant risk. Uh, of stroke, mm -hmm. uh, and boy, that's very disabling, you mm -hmm. know, to have stroke and lose a function, um, as well as, um, you know, a uh, heart attack as well. Mm -hmm. So would you agree that probably hypertension is usually related to something else? What you've said is, you know, maybe they're overweight, maybe they're this, mm -hmm. maybe they're that. So you probably try and help them discover what that issue is. Yeah, you know, High blood pressure falls into two categories. We probably won't get into it here, but primary and secondary. It can be caused by some other medical conditions, but for the for the most cases, it uh, has to do with lifestyle or, or with aging. Well, this is very practical advice to, to, to give you something. If, if you know someone that's struggling with hypertension or high blood pressure, first of all, you should know your numbers. Get your blood pressure checked. Get it checked a couple times. It's not something you should just uh, uh, not be aware of and then follow the steps that you've heard today. If you'd like this, uh, more information about this program or this subject or others, 
come to our website at New Start Lifestyle Club, or New Start Club actually, newstartclub.com, and you can find this and other programs. Thank you so much for being with us today, and also thank you, Doctor, for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you.